Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own SFX wax, or also called scar wax. The scar wax can definitely go for a pretty penny, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make it for just a few dollars, or possibly free if you already have the materials in your house. So let's get started. Obviously the first thing you're going to need is a container to put everything inside. You're going to need a brush or some kind of utensil to mix it all. Petroleum jelly. Foundation is optional. And you're going to need some flour. We're going to take about a half a cup of the flour and a scoop full of the petroleum jelly. We're going to be working in stages because it takes a few tries to get it right. If you are going to be putting in foundation like I am, put a little bit in now and then we're going to put a little bit more in later. We just want to make sure that it's mixed in perfectly just like this. And once you have everything mixed, we're going to add a little bit more of the petroleum jelly. If you need to, add more foundation. At this point you should have something similar to cookie dough. Stop what you're doing, pick it up, and see if it sticks to your hands. If it still sticks, we need a little bit more flour. And in my case, I needed flour. Check to see if the wax has the consistency of Play-Doh and if it doesn't and it breaks apart like this, it means that you're going to need more of the petroleum jelly. This is exactly how the wax should look like. It should feel like Play-Doh, shouldn't feel sticky at all, and if you put a foundation in like I did, then try to make sure that it's the same color as your skin or whoever you're gonna be testing it on. If you're able to mold things and like slam it on the ground without it like falling apart, then you know you did it correctly. And make sure you're being cautious with whatever you put on your skin, whether it's the scar wax or just regular makeup. Just dab a little bit on the back of your hand and just test it maybe about an hour to see if you actually break out or not. I have a little tip for you guys and that's if you take the wax out of whatever bag you put it in and it comes out a little greasy, you can always apply a little bit more of the flour to make sure that you get the right consistency that you're looking for. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, press that subscribe button below and I will see you guys soon.